in this creator YouTube world, how do we go from, you know, comparing myself to a Cody Warner or X, Y, and Z person and creator to, dude, I love what he's doing. I like, I want to be his champion and not really like kind of go over the top, but just support him in what he does. Like, have you found that comparison game in this world for you personally? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, I think comparison's huge in on on YouTube, and I think I think it's hard not to compare yourself. I think that that's yeah. a sort of natural thing that we do as humans. Um, but yeah, for me, it's like whenever I catch myself in that headspace of I'm comparing myself to somebody and being like, oh well, at least I'm better than her, mm. or I'm comparing myself to somebody I'm being, and I'm like, man, she's so much better than me. Either way, I try to catch myself in that headspace and be like, "Yeah, that's not what it's about. I'm right. I'm out here um, doing doing something. I'm I'm trying to do Cody to the best of my ability, Cody. You know, and then, yeah, totally, um, man. Also, with that comparison thing, um, I don't I don't necessarily think that comparison's a bad thing. It's just right. it's who are you comparing yourself to, and I think the healthiest person to compare yourself to is you from yesterday or you from right. last year. Yeah, man. And just to be able to see that progress in your work. And mm -hmm. um, I do think, I think the, the, one of the issues that doesn't get talked about often with comparison is that if you get too caught up in the comparison game where you're comparing yourself to, let's say Pete McKinnon, sure. um, what ends up happening generally is you start making stuff that looks a lot more like Pete McKinnon style stuff. And yeah. then people can start to see the, can start to see like, oh my goodness, this stuff is looking more and more and more like Pete and less right, and less right. and less like Cody. And they don't like that, you know? And, and so yeah, I yep. think, I think that's one of like the risks with comparing yourself too much is that you, you start to let it get to you in a way that makes your stuff less unique and stand out less and like less authentically you and i think that youtube is about finding the authentic you um that that's one of the biggest things that happened for me last year is is finding my voice finding out like getting comfortable with expressing myself right um, and and not really care, caring what people thought of it um and so comparison can kind of lead you away from that, from that, that vision, that goal. And, and, uh, yeah, so that's kind of my, that's, and, and then how to do that, you know, it's like, yeah, it's really, yeah. it's, um, you might've heard this said about forgiveness at some point, like forgiveness isn't like a one-time thing. It's a thing that you have to keep on choosing over and over yeah. every yep. time you start like harboring resentment towards somebody. You're like, right. no, but you know what? I'm going to choose to forgive him. Um, it's the same thing with comparison. It's like you, you are doing really well and then you fall into the trap and then you say, no, you know what? I'm going to stop and I'm going to go back over here. The goal is becoming right. my authentic self and my own artistry and style and exploring all that. And like just daily or hourly making that decision to kind of come back to the, to the headspace where you, you know, you need to be totally. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. Like, I think a lot of people need to hear this. Uh, it just cause everyone compares, you know, everyone to, to everyone. And I think you're right where we should compare each other to, or ourselves to what we were yesterday, a week before yeah. or last year. And like, that's super important. Cause I, I want to grow personally, but I want to grow in my editing skills and I want to push myself harder every single day to create good content, yeah. you know? And ultimately this is about YouTube and how to do this whole YouTube thing because everyone is on YouTube and then they die out. <laughs> yeah. But like, I feel all of this with consistency is, is almost the key and then you you won't be as com you know you won't compare yourself to others as much. If anything, though, yeah. like your work, like Cody Warner's work, uh, McKinnon, you know, Matt Hipoya, like all those big creators, I like I'm now comparing myself in a way where like oh I could do that and that can push me to you know have another creative idea on the same subject. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, like I wonder what I, I wonder. Oh, that's a really cool um, execution of X Y Z. And it gives yep. you this idea for something that you want to try. Yeah, yeah. That's totally. a healthier way to think about it too.